boys played baseball all the way through. I had put a batting cage at the house for the boys out in the backyard, a little one in the rain and the cold. And, and so I went upstairs in our, our big warehouse and we had all those pianos that literally were, were old uprights that had very little value. So we did 100% off sale. We got rid of over 60 of those pianos and we made a space up there for two cages, one pitching cage and one batting cage. So the way it would work is when the boys would get out of school, my wife would bring them down and we'd stay here till seven, eight o'clock at night doing baseball stuff. So they were actually in a sense raised in the store, which was the segue that we didn't realize until them being here. We had a lot of wonderful times up there. It, the parts of the cages are still up there. We painted it like Fenway because we went to to Boston and to a baseball game at the Red Sox land. And it was a little bit crazy dad stuff, for sure. But the beauty was that we were all here. We had coveted Yamaha for years. Yamaha's the biggest. And we had a chance to get their keyboards. So we had reached out and asked their keyboard guy to come in. He, he came in, we found out that he was a, a little all-American in high school baseball. So when I shared with him that we had batting cages upstairs, he said, well, can we, can we go and look at him? Now see, I'm, I'm asking him to come to me and, and please let me be on your team and sell your product. That was the purpose. We go upstairs and, and we have everything set up, a bucket of balls and everything, I had bats up there. He says, David, would you mind throwing me some balls? I said, sure, I'd be glad to. So I'm throwing him batting practice, and he's sitting there swinging, and all of a sudden he stops and says, oh, by the way, we're going to set you up as a Yamaha keyboard dealer in the middle of the batting cage.